Good afternoon, Broncos. I have some scholarship opportunities to announce and some sports scores, but first, stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Have you ever been bullied? Are you being bullied? Have you ever been a bully? Ms. Fisher is inviting you to come join Cool To Be Kind. Come talk to your peers about your experiences and maybe help someone else out with their own. Meetings are on Friday from 4.50 to 5.30 in room 208. If you're a remote student, there is a Zoom call so that you can join too. For more information, contact Ms. Fisher at brandy.fisher at ecisd.school. Broncos, the child development students need your help. We are teaming up with Permian for a book drive. We are looking to collect all kinds of books to give to parents on campus for their babies. We need board books, cloth books, bath books, and picture books. You can bring your donations by the OHS Library Book Drop and the Welcome Center. Thank you for your help. Odessa High School is participating in the Keep Odessa Beautiful Campus Cleanup Rivalry with other Odessa High Schools. We are accepting all number one plastic, that's water, juice, and soda bottles, as well as anything with the number one triangle recycling symbol. There is a large green container that looks like a dumpster between the main building and the field house for collections. The competition ends April 23rd. For more information and to get bags to assist in the cleanup effort, please contact Ms. Fuentes and Avid, or Ms. Bravo or Ms. Dominguez with CIS. They will also be sending out students to collect full bags from participating teachers. Help us to keep Odessa and Odessa High School beautiful. Hey, are you interested in water? That's a trick question. We all have an interest in water. After all, it's what keeps us going. But if you're interested enough, it's also the theme for next year's academic decathlon. If you want to compete, go talk to Mr. Ruiz in room 509 to sign up. Now for something you won't see in any other commercial. If you see your name on the screen, that means you were personally recommended for the team by a teacher here on campus. That must mean they feel pretty strongly about how smart you are. I'll even go a little bit further on this one. I see a lot of my own current and former students on the screen. Don't make me call you out by name. Go talk to Mr. Ruiz. Join the team. You'll have a better time with it than you think you will. First up, I have some scholarships for you guys. The Permian Basin Area Foundation Scholarship is due March 31st, and there are over 80 scholarships at www.pbaf.org. Be sure to go check that out. Next up, we have the OHS Memorial Scholarship, which is due April 31st. You must have at least 20 hours of community service completed in high school. There's also the Olga Garza Memorial Scholarship, which is due April 8th at noon. You must have a 3.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale. If you have any questions, be sure to go ask Ms. Moreno in room 145. And all deadlines are final, so there will be no exceptions made. So be sure to turn them in on time. Next up, I have some scores for sports. First up, we have tennis. A few weeks ago, they played the Friday Night Lights Tournament at Permian. Sebastian Mora and Juan Diaz won first place in boys doubles. Alexis Lanson and Olivia Cabral won second place in girls doubles. Hannah Wilson and Rina Quinteros won third place in girls doubles. Keja Cox won third place in girls singles, and they won second place overall. In Reagan County, Big Lake, they Keja Cox won third place in girls. Olivia Cabral and Alexis Lampton won second place in girls doubles. Sebastian Moran Juan Diaz won first place in boys doubles. Hannah Wilson and Rina Quinteros won third place in girls doubles and Greg Andrade won second place in boys singles. Next up, we have softball scores. They had a big win against Abilene with a score of 12 to five. Their next game will be Friday night in Friendship. We also have baseball who lost against Midland Lee, 14 to one. Their next game will be Friday night and Saturday in Midland. 
Lastly, we have girls golf um, during the District 2-6A tournament, and their team overall won 7th place, but Chloe Aranda took 9th place individually. That is all I have for you guys this afternoon, and have a great weekend.